my name is abhilash i am the technical manager for altech on today's video we're going to show you how to get into the admin mode on bp20 m22 so first we will press the special function mode then press the down arrow till you reach system settings it will ask you for a default password the default password is 4 times 0 or 5 times 0 then you can come into the admin mode you can change the admin pin number you can check change the initial settings of the machine you can check the copier function printer function scanner function network you want to set up the network for instance what type of network you want wired settings you can change the ip address of the machine you can enable dhcp and you just click the return arrow you get back out of it then you can go to the user control you can check the user authentication you can register the users inside it you can limit the function and again press the return arrow go back then device control you can take document feeder settings paper weight settings fusing cleaning settings plain paper settings status light settings error light settings all this can be set up again press the return arrow then you can go to the operator settings you can change auto clear disable enable language settings you want change it to some other language you can use the language settings to change to some other language energy save mode you want to on the machine on a timer to go on energy save mode you can click energy save mode auto power off timer you can set preheat all that can be set on this on the energy save then you can go to list print you can user info print you can print then you can go to security settings you can whatever filtering you want on the IP sector IP section and all that you can do it and go back that's it this is all some of the functions which are available on the admin settings of BP 20 M 22 sharp machines now we are going to show you how to take the status of the machine print out that's the function key special function key You go to list print and you just go to machine status, click, you can see the printout coming. So basically on the machine status page, you will have the firmware version, what the current firmware installed what are the paper trays available on it what is the memory on the machine and it will give you the total count how much total count you have done on the machine then the software status it will give you the printer IP address gateway address subnet mask MAC address then what are the PCL font is available on the second page printer condition settings what is your current orientation of the paper what is the default paper size what are the dpi you are using whether duplex is enabled or disabled all that you can find on the second page thank you